Hey guys, so I'm back with a video. So this one is highly requested, so I thought it'd be fun to do. So it's gonna be why I chose to be a PA versus an MD. So why I chose to go to PA school versus MD school. So I'm gonna go over my top reasons why. So the first reason is time. So PA school is usually two years. And if you do MD, so that's gonna be four years of medical school and then usually around like four years of residency and then a few more years after that of fellowship. So I graduated PA school at 22. If instead I went on to um, medical school instead and wanted to do that route, then I wouldn't be finished with all of this until like, I think like my late twenties, like early thirties. So that's a big difference. That's crazy. That's a lot of time. And for me, I just didn't want to spend all of my 20s in like medical school and doing residency and stuff like that. For me, I wanted to be able to enjoy my 20s and my youth. And I just didn't think that for me that that was going to work. And for me, you know, I really want to like graduate school as fast as possible, be out there, start working and making money right away in my early 20s. And, you know, although I would say like I excelled and I did well in school, I hated school. So I just wanted it to be over with and I just would not want to have to like go through any more schooling than what I already did. So the next point is salary. So obviously MDs make more than what PAs make, but for PAs, you can still make a really good salary. So average salaries are gonna be, you know, I'd say anywhere around like 120K, like 150K, but depending on your specialty and the area that you're working in. But also, you know, overall, you can make anywhere from like 100K to like 250K. I've seen people, and especially in like dermatology, making them that high of a salary. So also, you can work like a lot of like overtime if you want. And you also can get like another job as a PA. So say you wanted to work in the emergency room and you did three 12 hour shifts. That was like your normal, you know, weekly shifts that you had to do. And then you can also work like per diem or per time in like an urgent care. So you could end up making a lot of money. I mean, you're essentially could be working almost like two full time jobs almost or like a full time job and then a part time job or a full time job is just like per diem, which is fine too. So you can make a lot of money. So for me, I was like, you know, that's enough money for me. I definitely don't need to go, you know, any more than that. I don't need to be an MD and be making, you know, obviously, a, you know, more than what a PA makes because for me, the salary that a PA makes was, was enough for me. So. so also about money is debt. So I did not want to be in a lot of debt. And I know that there are a lot of like forgiveness programs for PAs and also MDs, meaning if you work in a certain like hospital specialty or medical facility for a certain amount of years, you can get your debt paid off or like partially paid off. And that's great, but I just knew the specialty that I wanted to go into wasn't really gonna um, have anything like that as an option. So I did not wanna be in years and years and years of debt. I was like, I want my debt be to be paid off in my 20s and that's that. I'm not carrying this over to into my 30s or anything like that. Obviously prices are gonna, so obviously amount of debt is gonna vary by school, if you had any scholarships, stuff like that. For me, to put it into perspective, I went to PA school at the same school that I went for undergrad. So this is for undergrad and PA school all in one. I did, didn't have any um, financial aid. I had a few like scholarships here and there that weren't like, they weren't like a substantial amount or anything. So I came out with about like $140,000 in debt. But like I said, keep that in mind that that was my undergrad as well as PA school. So if I could break it down, I would wanna say maybe like half of that was PA school maybe. And the other half was maybe undergrad. I'm not exactly sure if that's the right numbers, but that's really, if you break it down for PA school, is really not that bad at all as compared to medical school and then 
you know, obviously after that, when you're in residency and fellowship, you are getting paid, but it's not going to be, you know, a substantial amount that you can live as well as like pay off all your loans. The fourth reason is specialty changes. So as a PA, you're allowed to go into any specialty you want and you can always change whenever you want. So we're trained as medical providers that can switch between any specialty versus if you go to med school, um, you're going to pick a residency and a fellowship in that specific specialty and then you can't really change. I knew I always wanted to do dermatology, but I was like, well, what if I actually don't end up liking it or what if after a while there's something else that I like and I want to change specialties? I could do that so easily. It's not like I have to go back to school or anything like that. So I just knew that that was going to be for me just because of my personality. I always like to try new things and I just feel like I don't want to be stuck in the same place like forever if I if I don't like it. You can do any specialty you want, change whenever you want. And I feel like that leads to my next reason, which is just like overall like happiness and like well-being. I personally, in my opinion, just feel like PAs are just more like happy because we don't have as much of like a burnout. So burnout is just when you get like so sick and tired of what you're doing. And I feel like that can happen as an MD because like I said, you can't change specialties. Versus as a PA, if you're like getting really burnt out and you're like, I just hate this specialty. I just don't want to do this anymore. You can switch and you can find something that will make you happy again. So I just think overall PAs just have like a better mind outlook and we're overall just kind of just more happy and in a better mood. So the last reason is that I wanted to be able to have time with family and friends and I didn't want to miss like important events or feel like I'm missing out on life. So this kind of ties into like my first reason for like the amount of school you're going to. But also when you're in the profession, you know, as a PA, you know, you have, you know, pretty good hours. Um, you're not going to have to be required to do as many hours usually as an MD. And you're not going to have to like take all these like calls and work all these crazy shifts and night shifts and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, depending on your specialty, some PAs do, but it's not going to be like how much time consuming an MD has to put in. So I just feel like for me, I'd rather be able to enjoy life and I didn't want medicine to be my whole life. I want to be able to still go out, have fun, do whatever I want with my friends and then, you know, my family and be able to go to events and, you know, if I'm, one day if I have a family of my own, be able to spend a lot of time with them. So I hope, you know, all these things made sense and these are just my personal opinions and why I chose to be a PA versus an MD. This might not be the same thing for every single person <clears throat> and this does not mean that I do not support people going to medical school and does not mean that you should. This is just something to think about and just reflect on yourself and think about what your personality is and what you know would fit you best. So being a PA fit me best, but maybe being an MD would fit you best. So you just, these are just things to consider when you're making your decision.